Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic and today we're going to be talking about uh, the building blocks of ESCs and motor control and all of that kind of stuff. So in front of me right here we have two distinct concepts. One is PWM and one is PPM. So PWM is pulse width modulation. It is the t signal type that is used to drive a motor regardless of whether you are generating the PWM yourself or you're using a uh, EDF, or not EDF, an ESC that somebody else has built or an electronic speed controller that somebody else has built. PWM is what is being used to drive the motor at the other end and we'll talk about this in just a second and why this is what the case with that and then we've got PPM. Now PPM is pulse position uh, modulation which is this distinct thing from PWM and it is what most RC receivers and gear put out. Now we're going to start with PWM and why PWM is what is used to control a motor. So when you're talking about controlling a motor, one of the main things you're after is a speed or getting a specific speed out of a motor. So if you just plug a motor directly into a positive and negative battery, motors typically in a circuit diagram look something like this, you get a set speed out of it with a set voltage. So if we've got five volts coming in, you get a set speed coming back out again. PWM, as I said before, is pulse width modulation. Now what you can assume is that if you've got a graph that is kind of time on this axis, and voltage on this axis, there are little segments that are the period of the pulses for the pulse width modulation. Now when you do PWM, what it means is that you have a pulse that is high, so in this case that's 5 volts, for some period or some section of this period. So in this case this is approximately half and it goes back down to zero. And then if we do another approximately half in the next period, what ends up happening is the motor sees half on, half off, half on, half off. And so for this total time or these two time periods, the motor is actually getting basically 2.5 volts. Approximately. So this is the, the approximate voltage that the motor sees, which means that the motor is now spinning at half the speed that it was spinning when you just plugged in 5 volts over here. And so this is what PWM is really good for. By changing how long the um, signal actually outputs for in any given pulse, changes how, how much voltage the motor actually sees and therefore changes the speed at which the motor moves. So that's what PWM is, it's just a very kind of brief, quick overview and obviously um, I've done these in kind of halves here but you can do them in quarters and thirds and any kind of um, fraction that you want between 0 and 1 and then that will give you some percentage of the voltage giving you a full speed control over your actual motor. So as I said, even a commercially available brushed ESC will be converting the radio signal, which is PPM, which we'll talk about in half a second, it converts that into PWM and then pushes this through a H-bridge to up the power outage and dumps that into the motor. So that's what is going on when you're running an ESC. Now, when you're talking about RC gear, PPM or pulse position modulation is what comes out of an RC receiver. So um, as you can kind of sort of tell, as with pulse width modulation, the width is the thing that changed. You change from having half on to a third on to all on or whatever to get your differences. PPM does uh, shares information down to the ESCs in slightly different fashion, but kind of similar. So once again, if you're talking about a graph where you've got voltage on one axis and time on the other one, you also have these periods, but in this case, it's the position of the pulse inside these periods that determine the information that goes down the line. So instead of having a full large width, you get just one tiny little pulse. And in this case, this pulse starts at about the 50% mark in between our two lines here. So it starts about halfway through this period. So this is actually a um, 
sorry, that is yeah, that is fifty percent in there. So this is how the um, controller or the RC receiver is sending information. It's sending information in discrete pulses, but based on their time, they mean different things. Now, these can be converted directly into a PWM. Basically, you turn um, the PWM on. Actually, I'm going to do this in blue. So you turn the PWM on at the start of the pulse frame and then turn it back off when the PPM signal hits. Now, this does kind of work, and this would work for a very, very simple forwards direction only brushed ESC. Uh, because as you can tell, if I do this at 50, if I send a PPM signal that is at the 50% mark, then I get a PWM signal at a 50% mark, and the motor spins at half speed. But what's not happening here is we don't have anything that tells the motor to go in reverse. So we can do a very, very quick conversion to from PPM to PWM, but we only get the motor spinning in one direction. So uh, there is a, a lot of um, complicated stuff normally that happens to try and get PPM and turn it into PWM. The first, of course, is to read the PPM signal into some form of microcontroller and then determine what the actual value is of the PPM. And then you can do some maths on it and work out what PWM signal you need to do. Or it may not even be some maths, it may just be putting in some bands as to say if the PWM, uh, PPM signal is within the first, within inside the first 50%, you're going to go backwards. And if it's over the, like, the second 50%, you're going to go forwards. Uh, so that's kind of the, the brief rundown of how these two things relate to each other and what an ESC actually does when you look at uh, the output or the input and then turn that into the output over there. So this is just a quick little video just to kind of give the basics on these things. Uh, very soon I am actually going to be looking at building my own ESCs. So I just wanted to kind of quickly cover these basics off just so that you guys had all of that stuff down so that when we start talking about PWM and PPM, you guys are clued in and know what I'm on about. So there you go. I hope you guys have enjoyed that one. hope it's useful to some of you out there, and I will see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.